Well, there are more questions today about Russian ties to people in President Trump's administration and strong rebuttals from the White House. Jason Colthorpe is in the newsroom with the latest on what the White House press spokesman said this afternoon. Jason. Karen, most of the past reports of Russian contacts have dealt with former White House National Security Advisor Michael Flynn or other members of the president's campaign team. But the new reports have hit closer to home because they deal with the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Kushner, seen here today leaving his Washington home, has been serving as a White House advisor to the president. He is now the subject of reports that he began working to establish so-called back-channel communications between the administration and Russia. That subject came up today at the Daily White House press briefing, and Sean Spicer was quick and blunt when he was asked if the president was aware of Kushner's efforts. We we'll just say that Mr. Kushner's attorney has said that uh, Mr. Kushner has volunteered to share with Congress what he knows about these meetings, and he will do the same if he's contacted in or in connected with any other inquiry. Did the president discuss it, though? I, I'm not going to get into what the president did or did not discuss, but it, it, what, what your question assumes is a lot of facts that are not substantiated by anything but um, anonymous uh, sources that are so far being leaked out. Spicer later verbally sparred with reporters some more about recent reports about the administration, which he characterized as, quote, fake news. Today is another significant day for Michael Flynn, a central figure in the Russia investigation. Today is this deadline for a subpoena for Flynn to give the Senate Intelligence Committee information about businesses he owns. If he does not comply with that subpoena, he could be charged with contempt of Congress. We'll keep you posted as this story continues, and it looks like it has a long way to go, though. For now, Karen, back to you. All right. Thank you, Jason.